and Rocky Mountain High in Colorado. Well, they climb cathedral mountains, they saw silver clouds below. You saw everything as far as you can see. And he said that he got crazy once, and he tried to touch the sun. Yeah, he lost a friend, but kept the memory. You know, folks, it's really important to get out there and get out on the landscape. It's not enough to read about this or uh, even look at it on the computer even look at it in a GIS you gotta get out there in the field and really experience it you gotta look at these native plants the bighorn sheep that we've seen up here today in fact they're right over there let's take a look the climate that's up here yeah right there there they are. You got to get out there on the landscape. That's what geography is all about. It's looking at the world around us and making sense of it. How did these mountains get here, for example? What kind of plants can survive up here in the high country, above timberline? No trees are up here, just some lichens on these rocks, some wildflowers, and some grasses. So what kind of plants can live up here and why? And should we protect these mountains? In the past over there, these mountains were mined for minerals. When do we protect things and when do we not protect things? What will these mountains look like in 50, 100, 200, 1000 years? So, geography is all about trying to make sense of not just our local place but the eco region that we happen to be in which is montane uh, subalpine but then also thinking about this kind of eco region around the world what does this look like uh, in Switzerland or uh, Bolivia and then thinking about local regional and national and international forces that uh, are human caused and caused by nature uh, to act on these mountains and change the face because there's a, the earth is a, a dynamic planet isn't it something's always changing on the earth and that's why we call it a dynamic planet so get out there and explore it learn about it study it make it sustainable that's what geography is all about